Yo. Yo. The levels, the levels, the levels, the levels is good. The levels is good. The levels is good. Amen. You are now tuned in to the Levels Podcast. I'm one half of your host. I go by the name of Envy. That's E-N-V-I-E. And I am not a DJ. Uh, I'm the other half of your host. You know what's going on. <laughs> Dummy Mo. You heard me. You can call me Mo. The only dummy is your baby father who still ain't asked your mother where all these new brothers keep coming from. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> already. Already. You know what I'm saying? What's good, y'all? Welcome to episode number four of the Levels Podcast. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all for tuning in every week. You know what I'm saying? On YouTube. Make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Please share, share, share the episodes. Tell a friend and tell a friend and all that type of good shit. All that cliche shit that everybody mm-hmm. say. Uh, we doing something special. If you are watching this on YouTube right now, you late to the party for real. You know what I'm saying? You late, dude. If you watching this on Instagram live, fuck it is, everybody. What's good, everybody on, on Instagram? IG. You know what I'm saying? What's up, IG? You know what I'm saying? We got a special episode today. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a good episode. You know what I'm saying? Um, before I do that, though, how was your week, bro? It was good. You introduced our co host I um, mean, we got guests today. You, you get yeah. to say You just, hey, yo, you just new. right he's by. New. He's new around here, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's new around here, y'all. Don't worry. He don't know yet, so don't don't roast him or nothing like that, everybody. Here on the Levels Podcast, the guests wait. Okay. They gonna sit there until we finish yeah. what we gotta do, and then we then introduce them. But okay. <laughs> but since since Reese, since Reese already said something, yeah, you we, know rude. Saying, we, we rude. just yeah, rude. Don't mind that. On this show, everybody know fuck the guests. <laughs> yeah. That's super rude. That's fuck the guests. Rude. Y'all ain't come yeah. here to see them. Yeah. Y'all, y'all can't see us. So anyway, <laughs> man. So yeah. all right. So I got my disrespect out either way. So it's cool. <laughs> so look, man. <laughs> Like Reese said, we got special guests in the building, you know what I'm saying, uh, for this episode of the Levels Podcast. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up, y'all? I'm Rocky. What's up? Hey, Rob. Hey. Boom, 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 boom. Hey. Um, <laughs> not what's up, y'all? I'm Rocky. <laughs> Hi, right, guys. I'm Rocky. Like, that was lame. What's up, though? But anyway, <laughs> thank you for coming on the Levels Podcast. You know what I'm saying? This is Rocky. Y'all can follow her at Ricard J on Instagram. Um, R-I-C-A-R-R-A. Is it underscore or yeah. dot? Underscore, mm-hmm. underscore J. It's not underscore, is it? Yeah, it's underscore. It is not. She don't want y'all follow. See, this is why I don't introduce guests around here. You see it's what special I'm character. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Crazy. Yeah, that's, just Crazy. leave it as that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, no, we got a good show this week. You know what I'm saying? What's, what, what, what been going on with you, bro, since last episode? Um, no, nah, you get what I'm saying? You know I'm about we ain't tried dodge the broke females. You get what I'm saying? Facts. Like Prison. Broke yeah, no broke that's bub hard. females. That's hard to do. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Prison. That's hard to do. I'm just trying to stay out the way. You understand what I'm saying? Do as less as possible. Make as much as possible. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. However you can do that, that's where I'm at. All How right. about you? That's what it is, man. Nah, same thing, man. Been just trying to work on the show, get the content right for y'all. If y'all would see behind the scenes sometimes around here, man, the shit gets crazy for mm-hmm. real. I be forgetting to turn microphones on and all types of shit. Just don't forget but, my booking fee. Wow. Did we pay her yet? We <laughs> are not paying <laughs> her or anybody <laughs> else. Don't you know what I'm saying? How many followers you got on Instagram? A lot. <laughs> Y'all don't even know what her Instagram is, so it don't even matter if she's lying or not. We don't even know if she's telling the truth or not. You heard me. So, you know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll work that out. I'll send you an IOU or something like that. Uh, we going to pay out that Wells Fargo account that I got. Facts. Yeah, all the checks go through. All the no money. Yeah. Ahead, though. Wow. yeah, big facts. Big facts, man. You know what I'm saying? If y'all got PNC Bank, holler at Ricardo. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> y'all like me talking about broke females, though. <laughs> She don't even know. If you, if you got PNC or Chase, holla at her. <laughs> so look, man. No, nah, no. Nah. Uh, but anyway, you know, nah, we appreciate you being on the show. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Um, as y'all know, every week, sorry about that. As y'all know, every week, you know what I'm saying, we get to help somebody from Instagram. Somebody from IG gets to send us a question or send us a, a comment or, you know, ask for advice. I don't know why your dumbass would ask us for advice, but... If you did, More you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. And you and you you gonna get what you asked for. So I'm just telling you that right now. So today's uh, you know what I'm saying, advice come from Instagram will come from P Gucci. P dot G U C C I. Follow her on Instagram. I appreciate you for watching the show and keeping up on our Instagram and comment. Oh, can and I ask a question real quick? Yeah. Do P Gucci stand for Pussy Gucci? I I, I wouldn't know. So, I mean, but but it's like anything else. If you got to say it, you know what I'm saying? They said the P is for player. If you got to say it, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? The, but that's what that's what it is. P dot G-U-C-C-I, P Gucci. Okay. And she hit us up on Instagram, and her question, her topic that she wanted us to talk about was why are men afraid of 
strong women. And I said, no, fuck that. We're not talking about that. That shit boring. It's like, I didn't say that to her. But, no, that's a real topic. But I should have. No, that's not a real that topic. That's a corny. Real topic. So what I did was, I asked her specifically. I said, all right, elaborate. She had to figure out what elaborate means. It's like, no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking, P. Gucci. I'm messing with you. No, for real, though. She uh she did elaborate. Yo, open that for me real I'm quick, sorry. bro. My bad. No, you yeah. good. Yo got locks on his phones because, you know, the hoes. So anyway, wow. um, so she said, she said her definition of a good woman. My definition of a good woman is proud of herself, respects herself and others. She is aware of who she is. She neither seeks definition from the person she is with, nor does she expect blah, blah, blah. So she said all that, all that shit, That's right? You know what I'm saying? She said being there for her significant other and, she, and she's consistent, whatever. All the cliche shit that women would normally say about being a good... Basically, about trying themselves. to describe herself. Yeah. Right? All right. So, then she said her definition of being afraid. I asked her what would make a man seem afraid. She said the definition of afraid is not being ready for what a person has to offer and I, I'm in and out of a relationship and running from stability and loyalty to each other. Basically, she's talking about whoever her ex nigga is, Right? But she didn't say his name. Yeah. She did say his name. So Tony, you would have leveled. No, I'm just joking. Um, so nah, y'all, I got y'all. I got y'all ass. I was like, oh got shit. Him. Got him. <laughs> got him. I would never trade on my man like that. What is you talking about? Like, don't do Tony like that. Like Tony, 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 Tony ain't got shit to do with this. Nah. Um, so so I'm gonna I'm go. I'm gonna go with with Rocky first. You know what I'm saying? As she texts on her phone while she on the episode of Level Podcast. Sure so, disrespectful. so disrespectful. So disrespectful. Share the sure live, everybody. y'all. Share the yeah, live. Yeah, making sure everybody turn into the live. Share the live, y'all. All right, so we on this camera, though. So, you know what I'm saying? We got to share love with YouTube and Instagram. What's good, y'all? Um, So, what do you, what you think about what she said, though? What was the question? <laughs> Yo, see, that's what happened when you texting. <laughs> Why uh, why are uh, why are men afraid of strong women? And she gave her definition of what, what she calls a strong woman, woman is and what she calls afraid. Because a lot of men don't got their shit together. So I feel like a lot of women be out here killing it, doing that thing, and men just ain't ready to be able to compete with that. A or lot, they, though? Or they feel like they don't have enough to offer. A lot of times women got all right, career, you got house, you got car, you doing your own thing. And a lot of times men don't, can't bring all that to the table. A lot of the, I, I don't I don't a like good the, amount. I don't like your frivolous use of the word a, a lot. lot. A like good that's amount. crazy to me. The word a lot. Like she going. It sound amount. like she putting a capital A on it. Yeah, real shit. Though, real shit. Like like, like you said, a lot of women got their shit together, and a lot of niggas don't. Like that's crazy. That's to me. why they afraid. All right, Reese, we gonna go to, to you. Pete Gucci. According to P. Gucci, she said they're afraid of her. According to P. Gucci, she need to understand that she she don't understand how the men view her, how she view herself. It's like me saying, like, I mean, I'm the best catch of all time. I'm a great I'm a great guy. Right. I can't disagree with me. Right. Facts. Okay. Facts. But you could disagree with me. Okay. Facts. I disagree with P. Gucci. If right. you single P. Gucci, it's because you ain't who you think you is. I, I, <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? Talk I'm not trying to sit here and Talk belittle nobody. Shit. I'm just simply saying that. For those who that, I don't know, are, I don't think P. Gucci is in the live yet, so go ahead. P. Gucci should join it because she, should she join need the hitters. You she get what I'm saying? P. Gucci, if your pussy was Gucci, you get what I'm saying? You will get a nigga who will buy you 50. Fair. But I'm just saying that, you get what I'm saying? If your mind was Louis Vuitton's, you would find a nigga who would be willing to buy you Dior's. You understand what I'm saying? That so big he facts. He got to be a big, big to facts. afford to buy you Dior's. No. It's a bunch of niggas who can afford it's Dior's. It's a bunch of niggas who can that afford Dior's. True. She got to be worth Dior's. She not attracting that Dior true. niggas. And that's the fuck. Okay. She not attracting Dior niggas. That's the conversation we not having. That ain't true. How Gucci. do you know what a Dior nigga look like? Facts. Oh. How? Not not what he look like, but what he brings to the table. You have a conversation How you know with somebody. What he to the table? You talk to somebody for a couple minutes. You know what they got going on. They gonna tell you up front. Yeah, a bunch of lies, nigga. Yeah. You fall for the trap for real, y'all. What you talking about? He gonna tell you what he got going on. Everything we tell you in the <laughs> beginning is is what, what you need. It's a lie. Time to go to the Dior store. If I ain't, can't pay for it, you won't know. If I ain't fucked you yet, you not we making not it to the, to the Dior store. store. Like, what true. you mean? That's the yo. That is the opposite of what's gonna happen. You How? Get way more Dior's if you let that nigga wait than if you just you know what I mean. She this is coming from the woman who wants a nigga to buy not 
but wants yeah. a nigga to Say buy it. her Dior's. You understand Say what I'm saying? It. This is coming from the nigga who will buy you Dior's after you give me some pussy. Yeah. We not that, talking about Dior's before you get pussy. We not talking about me helping you with your rent before I get some pussy. We not talking <laughs> no. about me paying your cell phone bill. Bitch, I am going... You got a $200 limit. Not $200. Before, no, $200. Before you, before get, we, before yeah. you give up the pussy. Oh, hell no. Hell yeah. Not before you give up the pussy. No. Listen, she talking... Because it ain't no guarantee the way that the limit's going to rise after that. Hell and ain't no, no guarantee that, that your pussy... Crazy. Ain't no if guarantee that your pussy no good. That shit is crazy. You ain't got no, to agree to it. You don't have to agree to it. That that limit going to rise after that. You don't have to agree to it. You don't have to agree to it. Who, you think you, who do you think you are that you get to agree to it? Like, Hold you on. Don't get to agree this to it. This is very valid, though, Ed. I'm just saying. Andy, this is good. The co hosts that we had on here a couple weeks ago, this is why you don't have to agree to it. Because the co hosts that we had on here a couple weeks ago said that she would go into a nigga's DM and pay for dinner Fair. after Shout she out the bottom of the like, took the, the initiative to. Make the first move. And there's some women that's Facts. with that shit, and there's some women that ain't. And 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 that's and that's, that's cool. And that's, that's cool. Simple. And that's cool. And there's some women who ain't. You gonna catch a couple of simps that that might and take you to the Dior store before they get pussy. But the, for the most part, though, you not about to get to the Dior store before Prior you fuck. Too. Like that's crazy. Like how? Yo, that's that's not true. With grown so ass- all right, would you take a nigga to the Dior store before you get before you get yeah. some double D? No, I'm not taking a master. Wow! Wow! So, it's not so then it's not even that type of discussion there. So what we what we talking about is she talking about how she got her shit together and she thinks that right. niggas is is afraid of her or whatever. And they probably are. Maybe the niggas that she meeting maybe. Yeah, because she meeting guys who still live with their mother. She meeting guys who don't have nothing to offer her. So and that's she probably true. Yeah. Okay. But also, so how she supposed to meet men, other men? Well, this that's is, what that's what maybe we point, don't know where she even live at. The well, point I was making is she, if she getting she it like attracted she she them it, type of men. Facts, facts. If she getting it the way she get say she getting it, or she saying that she the type of woman who got her shit together, what the fuck is you doing even in a place where you would be around the niggas who ain't got that's shit? That's regular everyday shit though. That's not regular. That shouldn't be. Yeah. See, see yeah, the difference you, is. See, I think she going a little bit into Rocky going a little bit into what Baltimore Bella was talking about where. She's talking about that. Well, since I'm a I'm a uh, a woman who's of a certain status, I can act like men. Men, we can pick up bitches off the bus stop. Mm-hmm. We we do that. That's some shit, dumb dumb shit that we do. Yeah. Rich a rich nigga will pull up to a bus stop and grab a woman right. straight like that, yeah. right? Give me the whole a bus rich, stop. A rich woman, <laughs> a rich woman in real life, in real life. Shout out to everybody on IG. A rich woman in real life ain't gonna pay attention to the nigga who just handed her her burger out of the motherfucking yes. drive through no. window. That's true. Unless she not. you just want to smash. That's it. So then, so then, if you getting money like that, what are you doing hanging around a bunch of ain't shit niggas? It's not hanging around, though. Where you want her to... What you... Hang out at the, you. at the Raven Stadium. Where you want to hang out? Shit, yeah. if she could afford it, get yeah. you a box. Then you yeah. talking big shit. Yeah. Get you a box at the at the stadium. All the niggas will yeah. come come fuck with go you. Go hang around you NFL go watch the game. Go hang around NFL players. And then y'all can call her a groupie. Not if she got her own shit. She not a groupie. And if no. she not acting like a groupie, I couldn't call her a groupie. She says she got her shit together. And why is men afraid? I don't think men is afraid of you. I think what it is, P Gucci, is that you around the wrong type of niggas. And I think that's what it is. You know Did what I'm saying? See what Pete Gucci look like? I don't know what Pete Gucci look like. <laughs> Y'all about to get on his Kevin Samuel <laughs> shit now, see? No, All right. I so, to, look, no, I need to so, look, no, go ahead. So Pete Rocky, Gucci's Rocky, Gucci. real quick, because we gotta move on to the real to the real <laughs> subject tonight. Um, go ahead, give me your 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 final assessment of what is your definition of a good woman and why do you think men are afraid of that woman? No, I think that is what I said before. I think that women that got their shit together, men feel insecure if they not bringing enough to the table. They feel like they if they can't compete with what you already got on going on. And I think that that's probably what she's running up against all the time. She probably just finding men that's just not ready to be with a, a woman that's actually got her shit going for herself right now. And how should she remedy that though? Like what could she do? Christian mingle. Uh, hey yo, you know it's a lot of broke ass Jesus niggas too. Yeah, I, a lot of these, unless she about to go, unless she about to go try to fuck T D Jakes. Do not. Unless she try to fuck T D Jakes. Get on Christian. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of broke yeah, ass niggas Christian on there too. That's my what advice. is she talking about? Like, that's Under crazy. no circumstances. So Rocky, be Rocky's Christian. advice. At Rocky's advice is Christian mingle. There you what, go. All right, Reese. What's your last piece of advice for for the chalet? We gotta try to help him. 
Trish, Christian's not good at mingling, though. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want y'all to get on Christian mingling. No disrespect to the. I'm gonna take a drink. I'm gonna take a drink. I'm gonna take a drink. Somebody, y'all gonna make me take this shot by myself? Come on, come on. Somebody, somebody drink this. I'm gonna take a shot with you. Drink the. Uh, but mine's is here. Yeah, already, yes. already. All right. Um, final thoughts. I would say we all need to be a lot more humbler. You get what I'm saying? The way we read the world is from. And based on our own perception, you get what I'm saying, our own two eyes, right? So I'm saying, mm -hmm. if you got a certain level of understanding, then you would understand that each one of us is different, you get what I'm saying? And we each have different standards, different asks, you get what I'm saying? Different things that we're attracted to, right? So it's not that somebody is scared of Pete Gucci. Right. I would say, Pete Gucci, you ain't, right to, you ain't met the right individual as of yet. You get what I'm saying? So keep being yourself. Keep right. being true to you, P. Gucci. You get what I'm saying? But be open to... You get what I'm saying? Because you might not meet a nigga who fly. Right. You get what I'm saying? Facts. Like, Facts. He Facts. might not look the way you want him to look. You, you get what I'm saying? Yes. But he might appreciate all the shit that she yeah. brings to the table. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, no, I, I'm with you on that. And and by the way, to all of the women out there, P. Gucci included, and Rocky, I'm going to say this too. Just because a nigga don't like you, don't mean that he intimidated. Yeah. He just don't like you like that. He's not your guy. That's it. End no, of discussion. That's not Sometimes, what you're saying, though. No, no, I'm just saying, like, don't I just don't want you to confuse the he was scared, he was intimidated right. by my car right. or by my job. Right. Sometimes the nigga just don't like you like you that. You could have turned him off, people. That's it. You could have said some shit that turned him yeah. off or, or anything. Or he could have been intimidated. But I'm saying for yeah. the women out there, don't walk around life thinking that you still single. Because niggas is intimidated by you. Right. You still single because when he came to your house, your kitchen wasn't clean. When he when you took off your shirt, your bra was dirty. Yeah. So, it could have been That's anything. So he he asked so you minor. for a rag That's and so you gave minor. him a paper towel. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, That's so saying. minor. It's though. a small thing. It's, just, it's no. a small thing. It, it, it All right, is. so look. <laughs> Look, P. Gucci, I hope we helped you out, you know what I'm saying, in some type of way, shape, yeah, or form, weird, weird. in the levels way. We tried to help you out. Um, <laughs> we're going to move on to the next subject, man. The, the level down for this uh, for this episode of the Levels Podcast is, is, is one that I feel like we, we had to talk about, you know what I'm saying, for just a little bit. We're not going to go too deep into it. Um, Kanye West is back in the news. Kanye West is back in the news because he came out and said that you know what I'm saying? I don't hate Jewish people anymore. He said something happened to him in his life that was life-changing, and he decided that all the things that he said before might have been incorrect, yeah. right? He said a lot of things okay. that was considered anti-Semitic. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I had to look at her to make sure I got the word right, because women are smart, and I'm from Baltimore. I mean, so listen. So he said that the things he said, he was probably incorrect because something changed his life. And the thing that changed his life, was this nigga watched the movie 21 Jump Street. <laughs> One of the stars of 21 Jump Street is a Jewish guy. Mm -hmm. And Kanye West said after watching that movie, he realized that all Jewish people not bad. Wow. We're not talking about Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> no, not that. No, no, not that. We're not talking about any of the great movies that have been made by Jewish people, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, in the world. Not, no, not those. Mm -hmm. Not those. 21 Jump Street 21 Jump Street yeah. has brought Kanye West back to where he feels like I like Jewish people again. And so now he's trying to change his image back. He's trying to get himself back in tune with his money. Number one, they took away his billionaire status. I don't know how you could take away somebody's billionaire status. Lost money you either got a billion or you don't got a billion in my in my mind. And I don't know you, how these niggas got billionaire status. Yeah. Like no. did your bank account have a B or yeah, no? Yeah, but he lost money though. He, he did he lose, lose money, money, but so did everybody else around him, too. Like, Adidas lost money by parting ways yeah. with him. But that's All how you take away because he actually lost money, though. We so, lost money. We paid taxes yeah, we, this yeah, week. Yeah, facts. Facts. So, so, so Kanye decided, I want to get back to the bread. I guess he took it as far as he could take it, and now he has decided I'm back, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, with, the, with the Jewish people after watching 21 Jump Street. Wow. No, so, real was, quick, give me, give me a quick thought on what yo, you think about it. He got a new wife. Mm -hmm. He got married. He I don't got, know if everybody uh, yeah. know that. A new fake ass Kardashian. He got Shout out to her though. And she probably just talked some sense to him, like women do. Like, look, we gotta get this shit back on track. You need to get that B next to your name. 
make some more money. So retract your statements and let's go. Facts. All right. So. What you think? What you think, Reese? Why I had to do? Why I had to? It's do, why absolutely because he got a new wife. With his wife. Right. His wife he got, got him together. Like, that shit he know. He, he had all this time. This bitch. When he was out there saying all that crazy shit, he ain't have no wife. He, he had, had a nobody. wife. He, uh, we Not don't really. even know who the new bitch is. So she could have been some girl he met on the bus whole, stop. He had press. He had media people. All that. All that was. Nobody mm-hmm. couldn't tame him. He got this new wife. She got his ass in check. So I'm like, look, we're going to get this shit together. We got moves to make. All right. So, Rock, so Rocky is giving the credit to the wife. Absolutely. All right. Yep. We'll, okay. we'll get her. We'll get her back later. Do not let Rocky back on the show. She is a sexist. Ever. She's yeah, a sexist. She's sexist, yo. She's sexist. I, I never met a female I agree. sexist like her. This is crazy. I agree. You this Instagram crowd going to love We don't even but, know yeah. the wife. Yeah. Like, she could be a. She could be a piece of shit. But look how she has changed his life for the better. How you know she did yo, it? Yo, absolutely she did it. There's he was no already. He was already rich. Yo, listen. Y'all can't attribute that to nothing else. But she her. didn't bring nothing to the table but pussy. That I was gonna say, if that pussy is that good, well, Kanye, can I be. have some? It right. Might <laughs> <be. Please send laughs> that it might. It might be the pussy if it's that good. It might be Gucci. She said it might be Gucci. It might be Gucci. It got it. That's the Gucci. Somebody tag Gucci. It might be Gucci. Yeah, no. Got it. All right. Got it. Yo, um, yo, shout out to Pete Gucci. Go yeah, ahead. No. I, I, and you know what? I'm going to digress. You get what I'm saying? Because I'm not even going to argue with that. Because when, as a man, when you run into some Pete Gucci, mm-hmm. right? it do it do make you make different. You, change your mind. you get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. It make you operate different. So I'm not even going to say it, argue with that, Rocky. That's why I don't want you back on the show. Because that was bullshit. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, You're not supposed to do that. That was love. That yeah. was love. Yeah. So with all that being said, the episode number four... The level down for the Levels podcast is the black community. Every one of you niggas is the level down. And I'm going to tell you, yeah, yeah, exactly. Got that? your ass again. All of us. We is the level down for this episode of the Level Podcast. You know why? Because the Jewish community put so much pressure on that, oh. what we thought was a crazy ass nigga, right. that he had to change yeah. all his shit up. Retract the Kyrie Irving, all of them had to change their shit up. The reason why the black community is getting the level down for this episode is because we don't never use our power. Kanye West said all types of foul shit about George Floyd, about Yo, slavery, and own... y'all niggas still wear Yeezys. Yo, we don't own the same shit that Jewish people Fuck own. Fuck that, though. man. Listen, the LGBT community, the 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 Asian community, Hold all on. of them, they talk, they handle their business, on. they stand on business, and all of them all is right. like, you talk shit about us, we shutting that shit down. The only people who fold, a white person can get on here and call all every one of us niggas, <laughs> right? Do a half ass apology, like I I didn't even mean it that way, and we be like, all right, yo, it ain't that big of a deal. We let that shit go. We turn the other cheek all the time. We getting the level down today because. That just showed me the craziest nigga in the world had to fold to them niggas, and we can't even get one of these people to fold to us. Like, so we got to do better. So for the level down episode number four, all of us African Americans is getting the level down. Y'all thought I was gonna give it to Kanye, didn't y'all? Got y'all dumb asses. All right. So look, <laughs> moving on, moving on, moving on. Let's moving let's on. go to the moment with Mo. You want to do the moment with Mo now? Let's do it right now. Let's do the moment with Mo, man. Because I want to piggyback off. So of for the for the YouTube for the YouTube people, if you watch last episode, you'll know what the moment of, uh, with Mo is. For the Instagram followers, a moment with Mo. Go to his page at dummy underscore Mo um, on Instagram. Is that yes. right? Underscore dummy underscore at Mo. dummy underscore Mo. Y'all will see what a moment with Mo is. It's, he got reels, his lives, all that's popping. So. We gonna let him get right into it, bro. What's the yeah. moment this week? The moment with Mo, because I wanted to piggyback off of what you said. This gonna be mm-hmm. good. You know, sometimes I try to educate. You get what I'm saying? It bring a little positive energy into it. You get what I'm saying? So for today, I don't know how funny this gonna be. This more serious. You get what I'm saying? Okay. We be having this shit fucked up. Cause even that statement you just made, you said as crazy as Kanye is, and I will go as far as to say, W Kanye ain't crazy, because. To your point, as black people, we don't know what the fuck people be going through. And True. if a nigga put a gun in your head and made you say some shit that didn't represent you in the right way, nobody would never know that it was a gun on the other side of that camera. That's a fact. So we don't take into consideration what it is, the extremes that people be going through, and we be kind of dismissive of the ins and outs. You get what I'm saying? Because none of us is perfect, and we right. all represent ourselves less than at times. You get what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck who you is. 
None of us is 100% our best selves every day, even though we would want to be. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? So what black people really need to do is be more receptive to other people's mistakes and other people's flaws because you don't know what other people going through. You get what I'm saying? And I, I will sum it up and say, Dave Chappelle said, you get what I'm saying, in reference to Martin Lawrence, you get what I'm saying, I'm an old head. He right. said Martin Lawrence was in the middle of the street waving a gun years mm -hmm. ago. You get what I'm saying? And everybody said Martin Lawrence was crazy. And Dave Chappelle was like, yo, this man did a bit more successful than the average person. You get what I'm saying? He has to have a certain level of intelligence to right. accomplish what it was he accomplished. And because somebody said that he was crazy for waving a gun in the middle of Sunset yeah, Boulevard, but Martin said somebody was trying to kill him. But none of us really took the right. heed we to believe. Yeah. Like, yo, Martin said that somebody was trying to kill him. Why the fuck else would he be on Sunset Boulevard waving a fucking gun saying somebody trying to kill me? So I'm saying it's three sides to every story. Right. Their right. side, outside, yeah. the, the truth. truth. You get yeah. what I'm saying? And I understand sure. that it's always them three. You get what I'm saying? That's a fact. That's it's a fact. That's simple. That's the moment with Mo, you know what I'm saying? Um, you got something to say on that? No, I mean, I just think that, like, as black people, we don't think about mental health a lot. And mm -hmm. I do think that Kanye got some mental health mm -hmm. issues he probably need to deal with. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's another thing in our community that we definitely don't deal with. All right. I, and and I'm going to say, I'm going to say, the level down for episode number four is the black community. Fuck what y'all right. talking about. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm being real. No, because we just giving excuses again to why a motherfucker will say some, just say anything, and then we be like, well, he we don't know what he was going through. I agree with what you're saying that we do got to take that into consideration. But when I look at how everybody else handled their issues when it comes to their communities, they don't give a fuck what you was going through. Don't say no shit about us. Keep our wife's name out your fucking mouth, <laughs> bitch. Uh, that's what they, that's it. they don't give a fuck what you going through. Like they, they the real shit. If I said something about the transgender community or the or the or, or the or the lesbian or gay community, if I said something about an anti-Semitic, if I said something about Asian people, they not gonna be like, well, you know, Envy, he probably was just going through something. We don't know what happened before. He, they don't give a fuck about the gun behind the camera. Although you are right, no, I'm, I'm saying they stand on though. business. No, no, no. I'm not saying he's not right. Because none of them been through what we been through as a community. Oh, that's true too. That's a you fact. You get what I'm saying? That's it, a fact. If we was having this conversation as Africans, it would be a different conversation. Nobody right. never mm. came and took over Africa. That's the, a fact. The fundamentals okay. Okay. of this country is that they taught us in school this exactly. Right. Christopher Columbus discovered America. Right. But it was already in here. Right. Speaking and of which, I'm speaking like, of which. Speaking of which, you can't probably see it behind Rocky, but today in the background, our food, our food for the day, our food for thought today, is the same shit that Christopher Columbus used to colonize America. All that bullshit back there, bananas and fruits and shit, bought a whole country and then he murdered everybody. That's so like put the that nigga oh, coming yeah. to Sorry, your go ahead. house. Yeah. Right. Sorry, go ahead. Knocking on your door, you open it and he'd be like, look what I found. Yeah. Right, right. right. Put a gun saying. to your head and say, this my shit now. This my shit now. And brought disease and rape and incest and all kinds of other shit. But, so he, uh, but he also got brought you watermelons and bananas nah, and fruits nah. and shit. Nah, no, he fuck killed all everybody that was in He was already here living our own shit. And he was doing, yeah. Thanksgiving, motherfuckers. I, all right, so let's toast to that. <laughs> Thanksgiving, niggas. Oh, hold on. I can't toast to that. Thanks, right. Thanksgiving, motherfuckers. Hey, let me so give you all this fun fact one time, though. Yeah, go ahead. For the record. Fun fact. The American, like, in our history, we save everything. Flags, whatever, 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 whatever. You ain't never seen a slave ship in a history, uh, like, in a museum. Yeah, like an intact like slave ship. Real, no, no. Why wouldn't yeah. they save that? They That's real everything shit. else. No. I mean, we was no. here already, dummy. I'm trying to tell y'all. I don't want y'all to question that. We, as in, who, who was we? Black people. The Indians was niggas. Oh, yeah. I, I, listen, man. I'm telling you, they listen. still here though. How can you say that they still here? Because they do They're, nigga shit. It's actually they Native Americans. Shit. It's Native FYI. Americans. Native yeah, Americans. Listen. Native Americans. But listen, but listen, but they still here. They on reservations. No, you're right. All oh, across all right. the country. What's, what's the rest? What's the rest? the country. All right, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw some parallels for y'all, and then we are gonna get to the subject. All right. The reservation ain't shit but the projects. They eat the worst shit like we had to eat the worst shit. Hold on, hold on. They eat the worst shit like we eat the worst shit. That ain't true. We smoke weed. They do meth. 
Yo, come on. I'm not. Okay. Hold on. Let me. Yeah, I can't. Look, can I tell you this? I'm just saying. Yo, this is a fact. All that stuff, that is not true. This is a fact. They are still farming their own 16 and pregnant. They 16 and pregnant. They're farming their own food. They're living. Yo. Right. This is a fact. Can I give y'all another fun fact? Manhattan was sold for something like $20. Uh-huh. To, like New York? to the Europeans. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. When we was here, we sit here chilling. Indians, we, however you want to phrase it, they sit here chilling. We Native over American. here just chilling, laid, laid back. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. These motherfuckers come over here on some different type shit. They mm -hmm. like, yo, we want to buy all that shit over there. Buy? They took. They know. Technically, no. they, yo, they Look, took at, it. No, you got to do the... All right, but some of the shit they I'm, just took. I'm, yes, I'm not some disagreeing with that. Took. But Manhattan, they bought Okay. Right. You understand what I'm saying? If the Indians were sitting there like, W, y'all want to buy some shit that was free to us? Right. Y'all want to right. pay us to be over? Y'all can have that shit technically. Y'all going to give us some money right. for some shit that we did? We thought Indians, Native like we Americans. was finessing. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> they are native to America. Okay, That's why they are Native Americans. Yes. All right. Native Americans. My bad. Damn. Yo, I'm glad still, I got y'all two. Yo still right. call Washington the Redskins. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I they gonna keep not. saying the commanders. Who the fuck is the commanders? Nah, nah, but but yeah. no, I, I I definitely feel you though. Know, I, I feel you on that. Like uh, like I said, I ain't discrediting what you were saying. I was just saying like sometimes we gotta stand on business. That's all I'm saying. So let's get to let's get to the subject though for the day. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the reason why we got Rocky here, um, you know what I'm saying? Because you know we could have just talked our shit on this subject. Yeah. We could have just been up here. And y'all would have been wrong. We would have. We always right. Y'all would have been all, wrong. The levels is always good. <laughs> the levels Do is always good. Do not bring up back. That's a fact. Y'all would have been wrong. Good. So listen, Instagram to y'all, YouTube. Please in the comments. I need y'all to please chime in on this topic. If you are just seeing this episode now, make sure that y'all tune in to the Levels Pod yes. on Instagram at the Levels Pod, so you can get on the live and you can be behind the scenes. You can comment right then um, um, in live time. Yeah. Um, you know, in real time. Is that what the right yep. word is? In real time, so you can comment on the subjects. You know, what I'm saying and we'll read the, the 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 comments unless it's stupid. If you dumb as fuck, like I'm just gonna laugh at your comment and keep moving. So if I don't read your, it's like, nah, I'm just joking. Just joking, y'all. Comment all y'all want. But um, the subject for today is who cheats more, right? Who cheats more, men or women? We already know the answer to that. Women. We are. We already know the answer to that. Women. It's definitely men all day. I'm looking all at fucking Instagram. Day. It's all day. That's greedy says females. Yo, it's definitely men. It's, it's definitely men. It's who they cheat with? Y'all always think y'all missing some shit, and it ain't shit out here. Y'all always think y'all missing something. So that's bullshit. It is, yo. It's definitely men. Y'all don't. And y'all not even slick with the shit. Y'all not slick with the shit. Y'all stay getting caught. Y'all don't get caught as much as us. I rest my. I rest my. The fact that she said we always get caught mean that they cheat more. That is not. That is not what that means. Because your only defense is y'all get caught so much. No, like yo. No, y'all do it more. No. What? Y'all absolutely, absolutely. D if we just always think they're missing something. Like, it's we something have better to out here. Literally, girl with a better ass, better pussy. We gotta all buy it, though. Yo. So, why do, so, why do women, so why why do women cheat, then? If men only cheat because we think we're missing something, why do women cheat? Yo, because niggas be niggas. That's your only answer? And sometimes, you know what I mean? Oh, we about to fire her dumb ass up. <laughs> if we was <laughs> going to cheat now, regularly, we would be broke. We would have that. to take How? bitches out. We you would, just we, said the limit is two hundred. You're not gonna be broke off. Of can I spend two hundred dollars for seven days a week? You I'm gonna spend two hundred dollars seven days a week. I mean, Facts. shit. Facts. Is that here's the, here's why I know women cheat more. And I'm with I'm with more on this one. A woman could literally walk up to any nigga on the street, say, "Hey, dummy, you, you want, want some, some pussy? pussy?" And that nigga gonna fuck her. Period. No. Period. No. Me. Period. She just got to walk so up just to out any random fucking, nigga. So niggas out here just fucking I'm, anybody. I no. didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. Don't. I said you have the option to walk down the street and say to any nigga standing out there, rich, poor, homeless, whoever, you want some pussy and the nigga will fuck you. End of discussion. There's no debate in that. A man, we got to work so fucking hard to get some pussy that we it's impossible for us to cheat more. We got to spend more money. We got to look a certain way. We got to drive a certain oh, way. We got to dress a certain way. I'm telling oh, you. And on top of that, 
We gotta fuck the dog fur off of you to get to even get to the pussy. We gotta have a fucking heart attack. Shout out to Kevin Samuels to get the pussy. You feel me? A woman, you ain't got to do shit. You ain't got to do shit. You got to suck a little bit of dick. You know what I'm saying? Get on if top that. of them. Yeah, if that. Most of these niggas not even, you know what I'm saying? Y'all options are so vast that if a nigga come in the house. That don't mean you taking every option you, that's in front of you, though. Man, listen. That doesn't women, mean that, though. But y'all out here cheating frivolously. Where the fuck you get that from? Because that a was nigga, a good word. You feel me, bro? Use your words, <laughs> You feel me? The levels that was a good is good. Word. The levels is good. Yeah. A woman, a woman will cheat on her nigga. Don't do that. <laughs> yes, Alex. Don't do that. Dummy, don't feed it to that. We not, we not on that. We, it's not a spelling bee. It's not. This how I know they, This how they cheat so good. They throw you off. Yeah. With cool words. With dumb shit. shit. They do yeah. that. That kind of shit. A woman will cheat because that nigga walked in the house today and put his boots by the door instead of upstairs. She gonna go to work to her work husband and be not like, work and be like, Y'all be and be like, work that wives? nigga, hold on, that's Y'all bullshit. Work wives? That's Y'all bullshit. got bitches at Dollar General, fucking that's at bull- the Dollar don't Tree. Do that. What you talking <laughs> that's, about? What that's do you bullshit. Mean? Don't do that. To fuck a bitch at Dollar General, a nigga still gotta spend money. No, well, don't. hold on, can I make no, this point? At least a dollar. Hold on, that was valid. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna take that from you, right? Yeah, I'm gonna give you that. You we understand what I'm saying? We do fuck the do- the Dollar General yes. bitches. Yeah. The family Dollar bitches. I'm yes. not gonna lie to that. Yeah. But shout out to y'all. You know yeah. what hurts us? Y'all cheat up. Facts. And we like. Hold on, bitch. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because. Out of respect for you, I will only cheat down. With a bitch that ain't on your level. Cheat on you with a bitch who was better than you. Because if I can get a bitch who was better than you, then I'm gonna I would not be with you. How is that fucking That don't make it no better. That makes it no better. No, listen, time out. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. How it feels to a woman that got a good job, a good house, all the shit going on, and you find out you fucking with a bitch from a dollar tree? That shit feel fucking worse. You think I'm gonna leave you with a dollar tree? Yo, it don't matter. Bring a bitch that got something to offer to this table, then maybe we can all talk about it. If I bring a bitch that got can all talk about bring a bitch that got more to offer than you, I'm probably leave. All right, yo. Perfect but example. But she probably not leaving. She not about to be with she you. She not. Though. Perfect that's example. That's she not true. Don't, don't hate on me. Don't, she probably just wants some dick, and that's it. Let's don't hate on me. Fuck out of here. If Rihanna come up, if Rihanna come up this way, y'all gonna get a new album. Don't hate on me. So listen, y'all gonna get a new album if Rihanna come up this way. But listen, what I'm saying is, this is a perfect example. And Instagram, please chime in on this. If a nigga get a chance to fuck with Rihanna. Why right? would I go to Rihanna? All right, Rihanna Beyonce. Everybody leave. Okay, Beyonce. Whoever. Beyonce. All, right, All right, name okay. name somebody that no, you want that like you think is ahead. better. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm Megan just, Good. Megan Neil Good, Neil Long, Long Megan Thee Stallion, name? whoever. If a nigga get a chance to fuck with a Megan Thee Stallion or somebody like that, he's probably going to feel like, yo, all right, yo, I done upgraded. It's a, I'm out. I'm, it's over. Look it. I ain't coming home no more. Yeah. If a woman, y'all will cheat on y'all nigga who play video games in the basement and go to his job every day. Y'all will fuck the shit out of future and never leave your nigga. Okay. Y'all will just be fucking future. I and mean, keep coming home to the nigga. Coming home to him every night, still just fucking Drake. I don't know about that. Y'all will take you a got flight. opportunity to fuck future, why are you coming home to that nigga? Future don't want future you. Future don't want Jeez. you. He not going to keep you. Yeah. Don't disrespect future like that. We talked about Jeez. that. Don't. We not tolerating no disrespect of future on this show. I don't give a fuck said, with nobody. She said, said Sierra who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lori Harvey who? <laughs> We not doing that. <laughs> she said he ain't gonna write no songs about Rocky. He ain't gonna write no songs about Rocky. She gonna be at the Grammys. Yeah. All I'm that. saying is, all I'm saying is the opportunity for women to cheat and the the reasons why women cheat are so frivolous that I just feel like y'all just out here. You can meet a nigga at the bar, the nigga that you work with every day. Yeah, but you y'all got niggas feel. trying to fuck y'all twenty four. But you gonna want to feel like you in a relationship. So like, why what? why are you just fucking niggas just to fuck them? Who, hold on, hold what? on. Say that again. Yo, I feel like if you fucking future, most you only fucking him because you feel like you got an opportunity to be with future. No, you fucking him because he future. No, you don't. He you, gonna get you more. Get a Rolex in your way. Yeah. All right. So you get. So you gonna feel like you, said, you have an opportunity point? to get something. You said what's the point? Rolex. You and get dick. something out of it. You getting Rolex yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and Instagram and, and, you, and a new and a new going, Instagram follower. Yo, you're not that's just going to hotel room and that's it. Like you get. Yes, you is. His hotel room is filled every night. A future. 
If, if I had is. future Instagram and I had a blue check, if I changed my name to future on Instagram and I had a blue check, I would fuck so many bitches just because my name was future on Instagram. That's so a I fact. don't know what you talk about. That's right. a fact. But we talk. I'm talking. I'm talking as far as cheating more. As far as cheating more, who who cheat more? I feel like we had y'all beat for a while. City boys and was you up. Do. City boys and was up. Do. In 2013, in 2013, I disagree with you. I feel like in 2013, the the city girls and Meg the Stallion and Cardi B and them. I mean, 2023. Yeah, uh, I was like, yeah, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 2013, I, I, I was gonna no, pull me a shot. Way, way, like, way, 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 way back. My bad. My bad. Way back. 2013. In 2023. Like shit. That's before most of our little followers even was you know, out in the street. Most of these niggas weren't even born. They weren't even out in the street yet. All right, my bad. My bad. My bad. Shit. All right, my fault, y'all. My fault. My fault. Hey, yo, don't laugh at me. Fuck y'all. I'm trying. I meant 2023. We shouldn't be talking about bitch. You talking about 50 cent? Oh, this motherfucker. Fifty cent. Like you, this nigga, time traveler. I told y'all. Don't, <laughs> don't. Fifty cent with the bulletproof vest <laughs> and shit. Like, yeah. Hey, no, no, don't laugh at that shit, yo. Fifty cent with the bulletproof vest. Listen, my bad, my bad. I meant 2023. I feel like we had y'all beat, but in 2022 and 23, I feel like now these women is out here on savage time. The word savage came from y'all. Y'all, y'all on that type of time now where y'all feel like, and we talked about this on other episodes. Y'all feel like we going to do the same shit that niggas can. Anything you can do, I, I can mean, do better. And now y'all... Somebody go and that, do the same So thing now y'all cheating on the niggas who ain't even cheating. Yo. Says who? Says fucking who? What How, you mean says, says who? Says who? How you know niggas not cheating? He might cheat back. Y'all cheated first. Shit, that's definitely not the truth. I don't cheat them. That's a fact. That's yeah, a that whole black men don't cheat, that's some bullshit. Black men don't cheat. I black be man, single, that, so black I ain't got to cheat. cheat. That's some bullshit. No, but black men don't cheat. Though. Yeah, you might be single, but you it's five bitches out here that think they're in a relationship with you. No, they you don't. You cheat on all of them. No, no, they hey, don't. hey, that's no, your own shit. delusion. That's, they think no, they're they in a relationship with you because you don't told them that. No, I don't tell them that. And you spending your $200 limit on them, taking them to dinner, chilling with them in the dragon, doing all this type of shit. Yeah, I'll take them to the dragon. But I don't tell them that they're my girlfriend. I don't lie to them. But you might treat them, though. I treat them like accordingly. Exactly. But you just they said, you just said that's how y'all want to be treated, though. I respect them. If I buy you Dior's, that don't mean you my fucking girlfriend. No. Shit. I respect you. What you mean, shit? I that like don't mean that. you my girlfriend, y'all. Yeah. Like, you get a pair of Dior's, you not my girl. Like, yo, the fuck? We go together real bad. Hey, <laughs> yo. We go together real bad. <laughs> See? This is how they think. So now, so now, she just, she, just, she just threw herself in the trick bag. So then the next nigga who come around and buy you two pair of yours. Wow. Now you go with him real bad. That's what it is. You married to hell. Thank you, y'all. You, you married to hell. Leveling it up. Thank the levels you. is good. See, yeah. and that, don't up. don't hey wait a second. Oh, wait a fucking minute. Come buy you two pair of yours, and that was like, oh. Good. The levels is good. That and that's my whole point. I feel like now these new women feel like, yo, I'm gonna keep cheating until I get to the goal, and then when I get to the goal, I'm gonna move the goalpost. Yeah. Y'all cheaters. Y'all are cheaters. Y'all friends help y'all. Y'all got a, yo, a circle of cheaters. Yo, at least we cheating cheaters. with a fucking purpose. Y'all just cheating out here to get a nut. What's, What's the, the purpose? That's respectable. Yo, that's that's respectable. Not respect How? How? To who? To who? It is. To you. Y'all not, not even cheating with a purpose. Hey, hey, yo, I got a, a goal. A I got some shit I'm trying to get to. Trying to get to the bag. Y'all not trying to the bag. A great, the well, box. get your own bag. Yo. So get your own bag. Y'all facts. It's all martial law. Now they out here just slinging and banging. My a great man I once said, a great man once said, I lie to you because I love you. I'm out here telling these bitches the truth because they don't mean shit to me. That's some total bullshit. Shout out to Jody. Because if you was willing to fucking hurt the <laughs> yeah, person Jody. that you love. Shout out to Jody. <laughs> don't be crying on Instagram no more, nigga. This my whole thing. Somebody like, asked, what's the purpose? What, yo, what is the purpose for women cheating? Yo, what's y'all purpose? The whole point is that, like, yo, if you going to fuck and cheat on somebody, just leave them alone. Like, why even do this shit? Okay. Like, Respect. take it to a whole other level. Yeah. If you feel like you need to cheat on, if, you, if okay. that's not your person, that's not your partner, yeah. leave them the fuck alone. And be, what Rick said, it's some real shit. Be single. Yeah. You just because whatever you want to, yeah. whenever you want to, yo, just, just be single. Because, just because you my partner in my trucking business don't mean that I can't go out here and do a gun business. You can go do whatever you Hold want on, So man. you still my partner at home. We pay these bills together. We got this life together. We got this all this other shit together. But no, the but real thing is that they maybe want, they want you, they don't want you to be with nobody else. That's it. 
Who? So they want you to yourself because like Who? everybody yeah. want that. Everybody wants yeah, you to yourself. Yeah, but that's my yourself. point though. Everybody want that. So though. then just yeah. be single. Like leave the person alone. Why a lot of them like yo? Where was you at? Oh, I was at the uh, club. Nah, nigga, it's four a.m. The Why club the ain't closed till three. See, that's the bullshit. That's the bullshit. No, the club How? closed at four. I left early. I left early and came home to you. Like, don't, don't, yeah. Yo, I left that's early that at three Yo, to get that's home that by four. Now, here's what women would do to, to piggyback off what you just said. They, we come in at four. Y'all come in tomorrow. The fuck is we talking about? Y'all come in tomorrow. And be like, I ain't, <laughs> I I ain't do nothing. I fell asleep on Lisa's couch. Who the fuck is Lisa? You know? Like, yo, y'all come in tomorrow. That's the problem. A man will, a man, if we go and cheat, we'll cheat, and then be like, damn, like immediately. And every man, fucking damn. if you got, if you, nah, real, real shit, real shit, it be like that, it be like that. Fucking booking a hotel room, driving there, you ain't feel that way, you was driving I home. Want, no, you nah, with the I bitch, want, you ain't feel that way. No, no because that wasn't, that, that, wasn't that, that wasn't me, that wasn't me, that wasn't me driving there and booking a hotel room. Who was me? Who was me? was doing all that. It's two different me's. Yeah, yeah. It's a known fact. It's a known That's that mental health shit I was talking about. This is scientific fact. That's not mental health. Oh, it is. It's a scientific fact. Oh, it is. It's a scientific fact. When the man get a hard on, the blood that go to his dick come from his brain. Yeah. That's why they be tricking us. We don't be it's, thinking straight. And it's a scientific fact. The blood come from the brain yo, and goes to the dick. That. That's how it works. Yo, so so that, like, wasn't me. That. that wasn't me. It, it was not that wasn't me. That was Lil Envy. It right. was yeah. not me. And Lil Big Envy. Card, Lil Big Envy. Fuck y'all. Don't judge me. No, that was Lil Envy. He the one who paid for the room. Yeah, all right. And then when and then when big when I took over, I was like, oh shit, what the fuck did you just do? And then me and him arguing the whole way home. And the whole point is you just risk your whole relationship for a fucking nut. That's it. So the what did what y'all so what do y'all risk your relationship you risk, for? You risk your entire relationship for that bullshit. So what you, do y'all risk your relationship for? You gonna break up with me for getting some bullshit pussy? But right. why would you even fucking risk it though? That's the point. I wasn't, why would you risk it? I didn't think it was a risk because it didn't. It's mean, definitely it, it, a fucking it, it, risk. So Dolo, Dolo on Instagram says, um, and this is for the for the YouTube, Dolo on Instagram said, Dolo.otg. Dolo.otg. The way females move out here, I'm scared to get close to them. Yo, where's the female comments? The female comments are laughing emojis and shit like yeah, that. Because y'all liars. Agree. They know because they real. fucking agree. You no, not gonna just they don't, keep reading yeah, the male they, comments they, they, without they the female comments. I read the female comments. Can they you read the female comments? Yo, because behind, the female please. comments, they on some like, yeah, hey, niggas cheat. If you're cheat. a female and you in here, y'all better speak up for y'all. Yeah, for y'all dirty yo, and shit. They ain't got nothing to justify what you say. They don't. That's the issue. There's no way of justifying it because. And now, they, now in this day and age, y'all feel like y'all getting us back for what they did to the cold crush. Yeah. Y'all feel cold like... Crush. Yeah, that's a Jay-Z lyric. All right. But anyway, y'all getting us back for what the old niggas did to y'all mothers and shit. Like, that's what y'all doing. Or today, you know why? what do you because mean? Because a bunch of... Because a We're bunch, not doing hurt, nothing Listen, today. listen. Hurt bitches, hurt niggas. All them old How mothers do you think and grandmothers... hurt, though? I'm, I'm going to tell you. All the old grandmothers, y'all mamas and y'all aunties and shit raised y'all to say... Fuck them niggas. Don't let that nigga do nothing. But what they didn't tell you is the nigga that you're going to be fucking with ain't him. That ain't Pop Pop. Mm -mm. That's not Pop Pop. Mm -mm. Pop Pop in them no, head. Pop Pop in them head. Whole families. But yeah, niggas two doors not doing down. That. That's not doing Pop Pop in them head. Two, whole families. Yeah. Two doors down that, that grandma never knew about. They're but not doing the whole family shit, but, but they still I'm not pop pop though. I ain't pop pop. Yeah, so but you they can't... still out here doing their thing though. Like, yeah, you don't got a whole family and some sisters and brothers that we don't know about, but you still out here doing your thing. The you reason... just decided to use condoms now. Oh, pop pop they, didn't hey, use a condom. That's it. Pop it pop wasn't didn't. Condoms, pop pop <laughs> wasn't using fucking condoms. Pop he made no fucking families. That's it. I'm just saying that ain't pop pop. Hey, Gunsmith does progression. Get off this Instagram. Get off this Instagram, Gunsmith does. Get off of here. You so look, said. But look. But we do got puppies available. All I'm saying is, oh, shout out to Gunsmith yeah, Dogs no. um, on Instagram. Okay. Follow, follow Gunsmith Dogs before they get out of here because they got to yeah. go. Um, but listen, all I'm saying is, is you can't get back a nigga who... The reason why y'all can't get, get rich back, niggas... Though, it's happening right now. Listen, the reason why y'all can't get rich niggas is because y'all treat rich niggas like they did something to y'all. And y'all be like, y'all be like, man, because he got money or because he a good guy or because he doing all this, he must be fucking Yo, 10 other like, bitches, so I'm going to cheat on him too. You just used Brianna as your example. Cardi B got cheated on. She's fucking, she got fucking that ass, she got, she that a don't. rapper, she got money, she got all this. Like, everything a nigga would say he wanting a woman, Cardi mm -hmm. B is that. She still got cheap doing. No, she shout, out, shout out to Cardi B, but she probably no, annoying hold as on, fuck. Hold on. And you can't like, say Cardi B is 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 what you would say every nigga wanting a woman. So what, she, right. Ain't, right. she ain't the type of woman I want. 
You think I want the type of bitch who was like, nah, I was scamming niggas. I was basically vibe But she not doing that no more, though. She, I'm saying, I'm yeah. saying this. She yeah, money be on. getting money. She got career. She got her shit going on. She look good. Like, all of that. Like, and then a nigga still cheat on her? Like, what the fuck? I wouldn't want Cardi B. No, no, you know how many niggas Cardi you know how many niggas you know Cardi B probably you know how many niggas Cardi B probably cheated on to get to where she at now? Right. Know, not to get there, not like you fucked her way to the top. I'm saying in, in her past, how many bodies she probably left in the past. But what I'm saying like, is that on, like yo. no, she has her equal at this point. They both doing their thing. And where's That's he at? Your where opinion, he at? Though. Where's he at right now though? How is how is not how you, not you don't know what his mindset is. I'm saying I'm the type of nigga who I don't want my bitch twerking on stage. I don't want my bitch showing her ass. But if that's ass, bringing money to y'all, though, like that's man, her, that's her job. Money. That's if her fucking job. Yeah, but money. But then you should have told her from day one, like, yo, you, your rap it. career is over. I'm only saying she that She was a rapper say, when they got married. I respect that. Offset might love it. They I'm still not mad married. at Offset. They still right. married. They got an old family, so he don't leave her. I'm only saying that that ain't every nigga's thing. So it go back to... What what was P Gucci? P Gucci. <laughs> Shout out P Gucci. Everything ain't for everybody. That's all I'm Everything saying. Everything ain't for everybody. All I'm saying is this. Cardi B is rich and got cheated on by a rich nigga. That's the whole, that's rich people problem. No, listen. And he's still home. He cheated with some probably no, eight. What? The, the, the yeah, because it's the fucking cheaper to keep him. It's cheaper the, to the keep bitches, The bitches that he probably cheated on was probably lower level than what it's he already got. And he went home. He was her. like, yo, y'all not. My, I'm still staying home, my bitch. Yo. Now, that fast forward, if Cardi B cheat on Offset. She gonna leave his dumb ass for some for some nobody ass nigga or some no, or, or, oh, no. or a CEO up, or some executive no. or some shit. Hold she gonna up. leave. Here we go. Fucking Offset's gonna leave her because his fucking ego can't take that shit. Let's be real. What do you mean? He's gonna leave because niggas can't take being cheated on. What are you talking about? I don't if you, like yo, what I'm do you a, mean? I'm, 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 what do you mean? Like, let's be real. Like, he can't fucking take that shit. I ain't gonna lie about that. That was good, Debbie. That's we gonna be on some shit like, you know what? I forgive you. We're gonna be on some Kanye shit. Why y'all do that, though? I forgive you. Like, let's move fast. That's just how women is. But the point is that, like, he would never be able to take that shit. He I would eat, never be able to I take eat the reason why y'all cheat more and keep it secret. No, that's not some bullshit. That's the, that, no, it's a fact. Y'all cheat more and keep the shit secret. I'm going to pose the question y'all. As a woman, how don't you get cheated on? I'm what? not a woman. I don't know the answer. To that. How no. don't you get cheated As on? As a man, mm -hmm. how don't you cheat on your woman? Like, what did, like, cause y'all just said Cardi B, like, I'll say all the shit she got going on. She ain't, and y'all right, 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 I'm gonna say this. So, I'm gonna say how, this. so as a woman, what like, go back to P. Gucci shit. What's up? You gonna go back to P. Gucci shit. If you in a relationship with somebody, how don't you get cheated on? All right, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. In my opinion, Cardi doing it all. I'm gonna tell you. No, see, see, all right, I'm not, we not. That's not, you don't know that. You don't know what the fuck Cardi yeah. doing. Just because Cardi got money don't mean she a good yeah. bitch. She could be an ain't shit bitch. Like, she could be a, you know what I'm saying? Ain't shit bitch. How? I'm just, how? how and where? Because she got money? How and where? Offset could come in the house every day. She's slapping over the side of the head. She don't cook. She talking he her. Probably she probably that, that shit. Spanish women crazy. She probably be on some other you shit. It's the devil. Right? Oh, I'm he saying. probably deserved that shit. Maybe, but all I'm yeah. saying is. <laughs> from day one, she might have been. To, from day one, she might have been on some fuck shit. We don't know what the fuck Cardi be doing at, in the house right. when the, when the doors get closed. We don't that know what the true, fuck right? she did true? to drop. I don't know. And and let's be keep it a stat. In order to to not get cheated on, they laughing in the group chat. Hey, yo, what up, everybody? Listen. So in order to not get cheated on, you gotta meet a nigga who is at that maturity level where you his everything and he just right. feel like I I don't want to do yes, this no more. I said. The yeah. same way, the same way for a nigga not to get cheated on. You, it's a roll of the dice. You just got to hope you meet a bitch that's all about you and it's not going to cheat on you. That's just what it is. It's a maturity level. It's a level of commitment that they have with the person. All that type shit. That's why I said on previous episodes, I don't want to know. I don't want to know if you cheat on me. I don't want to know that Joe? shit. No, I do not want to know. <laughs> Go ahead. If you're doing some shit, don't tell me because the relationship is over. Bitch, tell like me. Like I said, I can't it, I'm it, not, I'm, it, it not, go back I'm, to what I said. Y'all ego can't take that shit. Okay. I, I, can take I accept that. The egos can't take it. I, I accept can't that. Take it. If you that. cheating on me, bitch, please let me know so I can cheat on you too. Wow. I'm not even. So y'all just gonna be in there cheating on each other? Be in an open relationship. No, that's what not I'm asking. So y'all just gonna be in a cheat on each other. Listen, I don't want to say and play the game. That's 
it's more important than me for us to be honest with each other than right. it is for me exactly. to sit here and play this fake ass, ass game <laughs> about what a relationship See, is supposed is it? to it's be. Not ego. What like, is it? shorty, if you want to fuck with other niggas right. and you willing to be susceptible okay. to what it is that you see in a, at a moment's notice, okay. mm-hmm. you get what I'm saying? Okay. I respect your honesty. I'm telling so y'all you I do. y'all going to be cheating on each other then? We ain't going to be cheating on each other Which because we going we going to identify as we, we got an understanding. Already. Not a fucking understanding. If we going to live together, Yo. we going to pay our bills together and then we both going I'm saying shorty when I call you answer the phone. Okay. Ain't nothing you like understand a two, what I'm saying? two income household straight up. No, nah, we helping each other. When yeah, I call yeah. you, answer the phone. And if you busy, you tied up. I don't want you to be like, yo, I'm with my other nigga. I'm not, yeah, not having that yeah, conversation. We're not doing that. We're you not know doing what I'm saying? That. I'm saying, answer the phone. I'm like, shorty, if it's something important, I'm going to bring it to your attention. We're going to solve it. I'm so going to get out your way. No, that's an understanding. An a- open relationship means you can talk to me about the niggas. I don't want to hear I'm that shit. I'm not on that. An understanding means... Yo, you, you go out there, you do what you want, be safe, don't bring no shit home, and, and come saying, home. And come I home and respect me. you, and we on them type terms, right. we're not even going to get into a situation we where we live about together that and all that. I'm saying females in large fraud is not going to be honest from the jump. It be that's females a, who initiate no, relationships. Y'all lie way more than us. It's Yo, not niggas not who true. be like, I true. want you to be my girlfriend. It's that stalker, like creepy, weird type niggas who be like, I want you to be my girlfriend. But in large part, real niggas, street niggas, you get what I'm saying? Niggas who really got shit going for them, they not out here just chasing down bitches like, shorty, I, I want you to be my girlfriend. That's not right. that's not that's. the type of time we on. It, it's the female who say shit like, I'm only fucking you. Yo, I'm y'all only say the di- same shit. Lying. Or y'all taking niggas on we dates. We say it in response. I'm going to tell you the truth. What ain't supposed to feel like? If a woman don't never ask a nigga if he fucking nobody else, he's never going to have that conversation. It's not nothing to talk about. We're not talking about that. He you got to ask the question it. for us to want. Y'all, on the other hand, will volunteer the lie. Yes. Y'all volunteer the lie. Oh, my God. Y'all volunteer the lie. Y'all be like, But the real shit that y'all that fucking, y'all that talk about is that, like, yo, if y'all fucking a bitch the way she need to be fucked, then she not fucking nobody else. Let's talk about it. That is the universal bullshit ass. Let's fucking talk about it. What do you mean? Y'all don't do shit in the bedroom. Y'all ain't doing shit. Y'all ain't special. Like I said. Y'all ain't special. The fuck is y'all think? Y'all think, y'all think. You no, it's really chasing. Think, if you doing what the fuck she needs you to do, she not about to be chasing nobody else. What do you mean? You just said that you what chasing you the nigga that buy more Dior than I yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. We talk what is about, we talking about? In the bedroom. If we no, talk about in the bedroom, it's a lot more than that though. Come on, y'all. That's what we just cheating is fucking sex. That's okay. It, right. Okay. Like, that's what we talking y'all about. Y'all don't cheat only true because not true. of only sex. That's not. That's a what fact. it boils down to. We talking about sex. That's that's what we're talking about at the moment. That's not a fact though. That's not a fact. Because I feel like a nigga could be fucking the shit out of you and all that type of shit, but if he ain't shit, he don't emotionally Yo, support you, know you I mean? none of that shit. You know what I mean? Females dick. fuck with niggas that ain't shit, but they got good dick. And they fuck with another nigga who I'll got lie. shit. And they fuck I'll with lie. other niggas who got shit. I'll that proves the point. point. That proves the point. Why is it a lot of bitches who fuck with niggas who ain't shit? <laughs> Y'all said not perks facts. Nah. Why is it a lot of bitches who fuck with niggas who ain't shit? That proves our point even more. This shit don't even make sense. You know why they do it? Because the, of what you just said. Them niggas giving them the double D. Dope Facts. dick dub. You heard me? Anytime you Facts. say, anytime you hear me say double D is dope dick. You understand what I'm saying? That's a fact. That's what's no. happening. And niggas be giving out that double D. They don't be having nothing going D. for them. Nothing And else. then these females be falling in love with them like, oh, he got potential. Why? Because he fucking the shit out you, bitch. And then six months, a year later. Oh. So, so all I'm saying is, is that I'm going to give my final thoughts. Y'all give y'all final thoughts on this. All I'm saying is, I just feel like women cheat a lot more. It's 2023. Y'all savages. Y'all liars. Y'all be out here. Y'all sneaky as fuck. And y'all just got way too many job, too much opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like kids in the candy store. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just what it is. You don't got the same opportunities as we got. No, Wait. that's that's definitely not true at all. Men absolutely cheat more than women. And black men do cheat. Let's be real with it. Black men absolutely cheat. And I think that y'all cheat for some bullshit ass reasons. Like y'all definitely be cheating with bullshit ass chicks from down the block and chicks fucking on your route that work at Dollar Tree and all that type of shit. Like y'all, y'all cheat for bullshit ass reasons. But who cheat more? Men absolutely fucking cheat more because they always think there's some better shit out here when it's not. Argue with her ass in the comments, y'all, because she don't know what she's talking about. Mo, 
I mean, I'm going to just leave y'all with this. You can just add, I don't know who cheat more. I'm going to just tell y'all that God is good, you pussy is cheap, and I hope <laughs> Rocky don't never sit in this seat. <laughs> good shit, man. We will see y'all. We will see y'all next week. We will see y'all next week right here on the Levels Podcast, y'all. We'll see y'all next week. <laughs>